This video will show you the Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Windows Explorer inspired data filtering features available in the DevExpress WinForms grid, including filter dropdown lists, custom filter dialogues, most recently used filter values, filter dropdowns for date time values, and the checked lists in filter dropdowns. You'll learn what's available by default and how to disable or customize these data filtering UI elements. Excel style filter dropdowns are available via the buttons that appear when you hover column headers. For all column types except date time, the filter dropdown displays a simple list where you can select one item at a time. When you select an item, the grid automatically closes the dropdown and filters the grid's data to display records that have the selected value in the corresponding column. Dropdown lists also provide the custom item, which invokes the custom filter dialog. Much like in Microsoft Excel, this dialog allows end users to specify up to two filter conditions. Let's display records whose owner is Mike Roller or Carl Lucas. You can filter the grid's data against multiple columns. If you click another column's filter button, you'll only see values from the records that meet the previously applied filter criteria. If you need to see values fetched from all records, click the filter button while pressing the shift key. Note that once a filter condition is applied to a column, this column's filter dropdown shows all values. To clear filtering by a specific column, click the All item in the corresponding dropdown list. After that, you can click a column's filter button again to find the most recently used items at the top of the list and that are separated from the rest of the items by a double line. Now close the application and expand the Views Option Filter property. To disable the recently used filter items display, turn off the Allow Column MRU Filter List option. Change the drop-down height by setting the Column Filter pop-up row count property to 10. Now run the application. The column header drop-downs display 10 or less items and a vertical scroll bar if required. Filter drop-downs no longer display the most recently used items. Next, click the filter button in a date time column. You'll see a drop down that has an embedded calendar in it. After selecting the desired date or interval, the grid immediately filters its data. You can also use checkboxes below the calendar to select common date intervals such as earlier this month, earlier this year, and so on. To clear the current filter, select the Show All checkbox. To hide the drop down, click the Close button. You can also use checklist dropdowns, much like in newer versions of Microsoft Excel or Windows File Explorer. To enable this mode, select a column, expand its Options Filter property, and set the Filter Pop-up Mode option to Checked List. Now run the application and click the Columns Filter button. Now you can select multiple items simultaneously. Select three values and click OK. The grid now displays records that have any of those values selected in the dropdown. To clear filtering against this column, invoke the dropdown, select Show All, and click OK. Filter dropdowns provide special items to handle empty or null values. If you select the blank item in the dropdown, the grid will display records whose values are empty. In the same manner, you can select non blanks to filter out those empty values. Similarly, checked drop down lists provide the blank item. Drop downs for date time columns don't include such items by default. Now close the application. To hide the blank and non blank items from drop downs, set the show blanks filter items property to false. Now select the Fixed Date column and set its Show Empty Date Filter option to True. This adds a checkbox for null values into date time filter dropdowns. Now run the application to see the result. Invoke the Priority column dropdown and see that it doesn't contain blank and non-blanks items. Then click the Filter button within the Fixed Date column header. Now this column dropdown displays an additional Show Empty checkbox. The grid also allows you to manually customize filter dropdown lists. You can add new or delete existing items. Regular dropdown lists can be customized via the view's Show Filter Pop up List Box event, which fires before the filter dropdown is displayed. Let's write a handler for this event 
to add a new custom item to the Priority Columns dropdown. The Events column parameter specifies the column whose dropdown is about to be displayed. First, find the index of the first value item to insert a custom item before it. To do this, iterate through items displayed by the current dropdown using the Items property of the Events combo box parameter. To skip a double line that separates MRU items from predefined items, check whether the current item is represented by the filter item object. Then, use the current item's value property. If it's of the filter item or column filter info type, then the current item is not a value item. Once a value item is detected, the search process should be stopped. After that, create a filter criterion to select records with the high and medium priorities. Specify the desired filter condition and text to display within the filter panel, and create a new filter info object with these settings. Insert the new filter item with the important caption into the located position within the filter dropdown. Now run the application to see the result. Click the Priority Columns Filter button to find the important item displayed within the dropdown. When you select this item, the grid displays records with the priority set to high or medium. Now close the application and customize the checked dropdown list in the Name column. Select the view and handle its Show Filter pop-up checked list box event. The Events column parameter identifies the column whose dropdown is about to be displayed. The Checked Combo Box parameter provides the item collection of the dropdown list. The Event Handler disables items starting with data and removes items starting with help. Now run the application again and click the Filter button in the Name column. The Checked dropdown list that appears doesn't contain items starting with help and has three disabled items whose text starts with data.